Hello YouTube viewers, we're going to show you how to make fake heads on Backyard FX. You kept asking for it, so now you're going to get it. Fake heads! First, I'm gonna show you where you can get a low budget head that you can customize to your own needs. Then, I'm gonna show you three different ways to rig that fake head for a violent and gruesome death. Now, in my research, I found a few ways to replicate the old noggin, but the cheapest and easiest way to go is to get one of these, styrofoam heads. They come in male and female, and I found them for as cheap as four bucks. Now these things come pretty detailed, but with a little bit of work, they can look even better. Super time lapse. Now the first thing I did is add two layers of liquid latex to the front of the dummy, which smooths out the surface of the styrofoam. After a base coat of flesh toned paint, use a basic makeup kit to add highlights and detail to your dummy head. Now because our fake head isn't molded to anyone specific, you're gonna to wanna to use a few tricks to help it look more believable. First, you can add a little bit of the same makeup you put on the dummy head to your actor's head. And second, you can use props like mustaches, glasses, wigs that will also be the same on the dummy and the actor. The first thing we're going to set up is a gunshot wound. After cutting the dummy head in half, I hollowed out a space in the middle for the blood shooters back from a previous episode. After that, it was just a matter of taping it in place and lining it up with the entry wound in the forehead. Victim number two is going to be impaled in the eye. So I opened up the back of the skull and made space for this blood pack. Using my best friend, Mr. Duct Tape, I secured the blood pack in the head. Just like all the rest, number three is going to get a styrofoam lobotomy. But this time we're going to fill it with some homemade ballistics gel. Now after I added a little bit of ballistics gel to the skull, I'm going to add this glass, which I've greased up with cooking spray. Now I'm going to secure it with duct tape. Now the reason I'm doing this is once the fake head is spent a night in the refrigerator, I can remove the glass and it creates this great pocket to fill with fake blood. As always, you can get detailed project plans on our blog at IndieMogul.com. Man, I really want to create some carnage, but if I hurt a real person, I'll go to jail. I know. Clone in a can! Why did you dress them like that? I don't know. But check this out. Whoa! That's so cool! I want to try! Don't worry, Chris Clone. You're gonna go to Clone Heaven. Eric, is there really a Clone Heaven? No. Clones don't have souls. <laughs> awesome! Now we want to know which clone death you like the best. Now you can leave a comment down here, right below this video, or you can email us at comments at IndieMogul.com. If you're working on a project that requires a lot of painting or chemicals, do your brain cells a favor and wear a painter's mask.